Hello Scorpio and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Checking on your energy and honestly I gotta say, yep, it's somebody that you're meeting. That's kind of the feeling that I'm getting too. Um, yeah, you've met somebody recently, okay? Like you've just met them. All right, and I feel like you're starting to like date this new person. Um, and people are asking you like, no, what are you doing? What are you doing, Divine Masculine? I feel like you've got friends asking you like, what, are you crazy? Are you nuts? I don't know who this person is, but um, I don't know. It's, it's almost like it's got your friends, your father. I'm feeling a father figure checking this new person out even like maybe this is maybe your dad likes pretty girls you know what i mean maybe they like pretty women you know i've got another family member over here looking at this new person that you're dating like who what is that um jaws are kind of dropping here people are surprised you're meeting somebody new there could be someone else who's um like seeing this on social media getting really angry Okay, maybe they're finding this out through some kind of gossip or something. I kind of, oh, that could be what this is. Oh, no way. Let me just double check that. Um, yeah, I feel like that's what it is. Yeah, see, somebody's not happy about this. They're like, oh, man, you've got to be kidding. I think somebody, one of your friends or something is looking into this new person that you've got, okay? And they don't look the same or something's, something's like wishy-washy about them, okay? And they may call you about this. They may be like, dude, look what I saw on social media about your new girl, okay? Look what I saw. I feel like this... See, when you're with this person or when you met this new person, she looks like this, right? She's very pretty, you know. Um, yeah, she's pretty. She's, like, decent. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like there's other pictures of this person that look, like, tell a completely different story. Okay? I feel like, um, I, I don't know, you're, you, you've gotten with some kind of fake individual, <laughs> Either she portrays herself to be, like, um, innocent or, you know, I don't know. She's doing something. You're pre Whoever this is, a friend sees it. Like, oh, my gosh, I knew it. You know, oh, my gosh, look at what she's doing. Look at the picture she's posting on social media. Look at what she's saying on social media. Um, your friend calls you. There's a friend here that's like, dude, what are you doing? This could be your best friend. Like, no, no, no. I feel like you got with a karmic individual. I feel like this new person, um, whoever this is that you've met, she's played herself as like a little, you know, like a, like a little Miss Innocent or something. Or she looks completely different with makeup on or something than what she actually does in person. It's something like for real, like naturally, right? I don't know. Somebody's seeing something about this person and calling you. And you were like, I feel like you were, you were seeing some really good things um, about this individual. Like, I feel like you were happy. You were excited. I, I'm getting the sense that, you know, um, there were other people who questioned this new person, didn't approve. Definitely your friend does not approve of this new person. Okay. Let me switch to tarot. What's going on? Yeah, jaws are dropping that this that you're with this new um, whoever this is. Uh, people, they don't know what to say. They don't know what to think. I mean, on the surface, with the makeup and the way she does her hair or whatever clothes she wears, because she's hiding something here too. Okay, so I kind of get the sense that this person is fake. Okay, very fake. When she, when she washes her makeup off, okay, I feel like she looks more like this. I don't know. People are seeing this probably through her social media. 
And I feel like, but I honestly, I feel like you were really excited. I mean, you know, what does it matter what she looks like? Okay, Divine Masculine, if you really enjoy this person's company, I feel like maybe it's all good. You know what I'm saying? Um, I feel like the days of being superficial are over. But there may be more that this person is doing behind the scenes, you know. Um, I feel like it's a karmic energy, okay? I really do. So one of your friends is going to warn you about this person. Yeah, because they're watching. Yes, and they're going to let you know. I'm telling you. They're seeing something about this karmic, and they're going to tell you. Um, I feel like they're seeing some photos or something of her on social media, okay? Yeah, see, and you don't want to hear this stuff, all right? But I don't know. I don't know what she's doing. I, I don't know what they're finding out on her social media. She could just be somebody who's fake, you know, um, wears a lot of makeup or something and doesn't look the way she looks with you. You know what I'm saying? Or she could be doing some karmic -y things that you don't know about. Or she could be, you know, have that kind of lifestyle that you're not aware of. Someone's going to clue you in on something. This is about your new love, but you're not, here's the thing, and you're not going to want to let go of this new love, even though your friend is telling you the truth, okay? Or your, it could be your family as well. There's something about this connection that, like, I don't know, it kind of freaks people out. You know, their jaws are dropping here when they find out you have someone new. Okay, so there's something that's not quite right with this new person. I don't know what it is. I honestly, I, I, I don't know. It's either something about her looks or something about um, what she does. Yeah, see... I feel like there's someone else here who is leaving the scene. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe some of your family, maybe a friend was expecting you to get back with your Divine Feminine. Because I feel like this is the Divine Feminine here with the World card. And she's moving on. She's walking clear off the spread with that couple love. And she's got her back turned. Um, she's done with this last cycle. She's learned her lessons. Okay, and I feel like this, your Divine Feminine is leaving you behind. Maybe that's why people are so shocked, is because you didn't choose your Feminine. You chose this Karmic Feminine. This could be somebody who is possibly way younger than you as well. You know, I didn't look at the age difference here. So maybe people are kind of freaked out. You're dating someone who's too young. This could be a party goer. This could be somebody who posts pictures of themselves partying every weekend. I don't know. I don't know. All I know is you're about to find out. A friend is going to show you everything. Yeah, everything. And I mean everything. Yeah, see, I feel like... It feels like there's a group of people around you, Divine Masculine, who thought for sure that you were going to get your Divine Feminine back, okay? Um, because they know that that was the person who, they know that you're, you were in love with this Divine Feminine. They know you were in love with this Divine Feminine. But this Divine Feminine is moving on. You know, this could be one of those situations where you could have already possibly tried to get this feminine back, okay? And she could have said, no, I'm moving on. I'm done with this cycle. And all of a sudden, a couple of days later or a week later, you've got a new girlfriend who's way younger than you and fake. And everybody's like, dude, just slow down. Spend some time on your own. Maybe people, maybe these people... Um, that are around you, Divine Masculine, just want you to mend your broken heart or um, get over past baggage before you start something new. I don't know. It's That's for someone. Yeah, you know this, this feminine is the one for you, and you knew it. 
you could have said something to these people about it. This could be family that knows you're in love with this divine feminine. And they are shocked that you're letting this feminine walk out of your life, but you're going for someone else that's a karmic, uh, that's new. A new person that's a karmic, like another karmic. You're choosing another karmic over your divine feminine. And even people in your inner circle are asking you, no, baby, what is you doing? Like, you know, that's what they're saying. What are you doing, divine masculine? What are you doing? What are you doing, man? And I feel like this person here is, they, I want to laugh every time I see them because even they have this smile on their face like, yeah, I don't know if this is the one for you, but this must be someone who looks very attractive under all the makeup, okay? Because this is a father figure, someone who's older and prominent in your life, okay? And they're checking her out. So I feel like that's what's got you attracted. Um Honestly, I feel like she, she, this new person that you're getting with, it may be some kind of rebound. Honestly, because I, I feel like the one you really want is walking out of your life. And I feel like when this feminine leaves your life to find masculine, yeah, she's, she's not going to be coming back around. She's got her boundaries up. She's making a firm decision here. She knows her value. Okay, she knows her worth. That she's worth way more than what you're giving her. Okay? All right? So, yeah, I, everybody thought that you would get together with this feminine because they all know. All of these people know how you feel about this feminine. So, yeah. And you're. I feel like part of this is sort of a, you know, it feels kind of like an act in a way. Okay? Um, it feels like you're trying to maybe make people believe or make yourself believe that you're, you're going to heal from this very quickly. But Divine Masculine, I feel like you're, you know, it's a cover. I, I feel like um, you're fooling yourself here. Especially when it comes to this new person. Because th this new person, there's something off about this new person. I'm telling you. She's either very, very fake. She's, um, I feel like it's a rebound, especially if she's way younger than you. That ain't going to last, I don't think. Okay? And I feel like she's doing some karmic -y things that you don't know about. So, yeah, what are you doing, Divine Masculine? Like, for real, I feel like you're going out there scraping the bottom of the barrel. I'm sorry, I've got to say it. And this is something that you're like, you're hanging on to this new love when you're actually in love with your feminine and she's leaving. You know, um, maybe you just don't want this group to prove you wrong or something about this feminine. Or you just want, maybe you're wanting the feminine, your divine feminine to think that, hey, you'll be okay without this feminine. You're just going to go and pick up somebody new. I don't... And you did. But this is a fake karmic -y individual that you picked up on Divine Feminine. So what are you doing? Yeah, it's going to lead to a lot of regret. Okay. It is. It's going to lead to a lot of regret. And I feel like that's what your friends and your family are trying to tell you. You're going to regret this. I, I don't think anybody can replace your divine feminine. And honestly, I feel like in a time, I feel like crying, honestly. So you could be crying in a time where this is a very emotional time. Something very difficult for you to deal with is knowing that you're losing the person that you're actually in love with. Right, And I feel like you're doing whatever you can to try to make yourself believe that it doesn't hurt. You're, you're doing whatever you can to quickly find a replacement for that person who's leaving your life. But there is no replacing your divine feminine. There's no replacing her. And no matter how many people you entertain, you're always going to be missing the one you turned your back on. 
okay? You, I feel like you you can you can continue to keep trying to replace this person here, but you're never going to truly be able to do it. You're always going to end up unfulfilled because it's really none of these other people are the one you actually are in love with. You know, why aren't you approaching the Divine Feminine? That's the question. Because that's the one you want. So why aren't you, why isn't this Masculine approaching the Divine Feminine? I feel like you're taking, sorry, Divine Masculine. Um, I was going to say, I, I feel like, um, I feel like you're afraid to approach the Feminine, okay? Um, you may even be trying to possibly even make her jealous. I don't know. It's either that. Or, um, or you've already tried to approach the feminine and she's rejected you. And now you're on the rebound to the, the first thing that you find is really what it feels like. You're trying to manipulate some kind of outcome here with the feminine and it's not working or it didn't work. Maybe that's what you were trying to do is wait out this, this feminine the Divine Feminine until she turned around and started chasing you, but that didn't work. Because you were trying to manipulate this whole entire situation here with the Magician. Okay, and she didn't chase you, so now you're like resorting to... Picking up on... Yeah, scraping the bottom of the barrel. I was just going to say that. Scraping the bottom of the barrel divine masculine to try to find you're going to go to the bottom of the barrel to try to find a replacement for your divine feminine how is that going to work yeah what are you doing divine masculine what are you doing you can't get a replacement from uh, you can't replace someone who is a top notch this is this is top dog here the divine feminine She's at the top of her game. This is a divine being, and you're out here try trying to replace her with scraping the bottom of the barrel? <laughs> yeah, what are you doing, man? Yeah, and that was on the bottom of the deck, the Ten of Wands. People are looking at you and asking you the same thing. Family members, friends... They're all shocked. You know, I feel like you're just, you can't carry the burden. I feel like, you know what, you can't stop thinking about the Divine Feminine. And you're trying, you're desperately trying to fill that, um, those thoughts with someone else and something new. And you're trying to get your mind off of losing your Divine Feminine as you lose your Divine Feminine. Okay, yeah, tower moment. I was right about that one. This is keeping you up all night. Y y and you know, here's the thing. Spirit's trying to tell you, man, you're only playing games with other people. You know, you want to be excited. You you want to start something possibly new with someone. You, you just don't want to think about your feminine anymore. Because um, it's driving you crazy. You can't stand it anymore. But Spirit's telling you here, you know, this is why you're still in the Ten of Wands Tower moment and Nine of Swords energy is because, you know what, none of those other people fulfill you. You don't start a relationship with someone when you really don't want them in a relationship with you. You know what I mean? When that's not the one that you want. You start relationships, loving relationships with the person that you love. The one that you want. You know, right now you're just trying to fill a very deep hole. Okay? You're trying to fill a dark space, a void. That void's been there since you've been in separation with your Divine Feminine. And you can't fill that. You can't fill that void. Can you? It's because you can't replace a Divine Feminine while scraping the bottom of a barrel and you're not going to be able to replace your feminine anyway i feel like this is a, a a soul tie okay it can't really be severed 
you know, and I feel like you're always going to be feeling and thinking about this feminine. Yeah, see, my cat now, my cat comes over here and she's, even my cat is like, what are you doing? Yeah, like, what are you doing? Yeah. Giving to other people, giving to others while you breadcrumb this feminine. You know, this is coming to an end because you're just walking away. And look at, look, how many times have you tried to replace this divine feminine with someone else? How many times? You know, or maybe this is in the future. You'll never fully replace this feminine. You're always going to be unfulfilled. Because it's, that's, these people aren't who you're in love with, okay? And I feel like, um, yeah, there's, I'm getting the sense that whoever it is that you're dating right now, she's already betraying you, dude. And you're just unaware. I feel like um, that's what people are finding out here. She's already possibly lying to you, betraying you, okay? This, this new person could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Uh, or she's keeping secrets or saying things behind your back. I don't know. She's hiding something. Whatever it may be. And I'm telling you, somebody's finding out about it. A friend is finding out about it. And they're going to call you with this information. They're going to tell you all about it. You know? You're trying to be in a relationship with someone when there's not real true love there. And you're going to learn a lesson from it every single time, Divine Masculine. And meanwhile, the one that you are in love with, your Divine counterpart your divine feminine she's leaving your life okay yep you're just letting her get away it it, it makes no sense it i feel like it makes no sense to any of these people in your life okay they're they're like what in the world are you doing I feel like Divine Masculine, you've got to be honest. you got to be honest with your family, honest with your friends. you got to be honest with your partner, whoever it is that you're choosing. You should have been honest with your Divine Feminine as well. But mostly, Divine Masculine, you got to be honest with yourself at this point. You can't replace this Divine Feminine digging at the bottom of the barrel okay yeah i feel like this whole community your whole group okay your whole group is talking about this and i feel like there is one friend who is intervening okay they're intervening yeah there i feel like divine masculine you're already thinking about this you already know you, you uh, i feel like you don't want to let go of this new person Maybe they do make you happy, you know, maybe they're fun, adventurous, and just that new, fresh energy, you know? But I feel eventually this new person's going to do you wrong, Divine Masculine. And, you're, and, and I feel like the, pe the kind of people you're choosing are going to continue to keep doing you wrong. Yeah, I, like I said, each one of these people you're going to learn a lesson with, you know? And the big lesson is, no one can replace your Divine Feminine. No one. 